Hello everybody, this is Laura coming to you today from End Time Apostasy. I hope you guys are doing well. So guys, I have some breaking news here. Um, it says, this is uh, from an article um, in abc.net au in Australia. And it says that Hillsong Church founder Brian Houston resigns after internal misconduct investigation. Does this surprise me? No. The Bible says what is done in darkness will come into the light. Now, before I show you a video here, I'm just going to read some of this. Um, the founder of global megachurch Hillsong, Brian Houston, has resigned after an internal investigation found he behaved inappropriately towards two women. The acting head of the church, Pastor Phil Dooley, made the announcement at the emergency all-staff meeting today and said Hillsong will launch an independent review of its governance structure. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just come on down here um, and I'm going to read this. Hillsong last week revealed that an investigation into into two incidents involving Mr. Houston found he had breached the church's moral code of conduct for pastors and engaged in conduct of serious concern. The church's global board on Friday afternoon said in a letter to its members, we have sadly been dealing with two complaints made against Pastor Brian over the last 10 years. The first incident detailed in the letter and by Pastor Dooley is an extraordinary meeting involved involved 800 staff members involved inappropriate text messages sent to a female staffer in 2013. The church said Mr. Houston was under the influence of sleeping tablets which he had become dependent upon when he sent the text. He immediately apologized to the person. The global board said adding it had helped it had since helped mr houston eliminate his dependency on the medication the female staff however was upset and felt awkward and made a complaint to hillsong general manager george ha ha ah, hannah jan sorry for that i probably butchered it before resigning the second incident occurred in 2019 during a Hillsong annual conference in Sydney's Olympic Park that Prime Minister Scott Morrison opened. The church said Mr. Houston was drinking with the group and after being locked out of his hotel room, ended up knocking on the door of a woman he met earlier. The woman who was not a member of the church opened the door and Mr. Houston went into her room and spent 40 minutes there. Pastor Dooley said there was no sexual activity, was reported, but the woman raised a complaint. Okay, the board said an investigation around Mr. Houston became disorientated following the consumption of anti-anxiety medication beyond the prescribed dose mixed with alcohol. The investigation did not uphold all parts of the complaint, but important elements of the complaint were sustained and conduct was of serious concern. Ultimately, the board found that Brian had breached the Hillsong Pastor's Code of Conduct. The board said the church apologized unreservedly to both women and said Mr. Houston had paid compensation or refunds to them from his own pocket. Mr. Houston, in January, stepped down as the director of all Hillsong boards to defend a criminal charge that he concealed his father's child sexual abuse. Hillsong Church was approached for comment. So guys, for many, many years, a lot of us have been praying that the Lord would expose Brian Houston. And now the Lord has done that. He has answered our prayers. Hopefully precious souls will be saved from getting involved in this particular movement now. And that the Lord will open up those other people's eyes 
that they will be set free from this cult. Now what I'm going to do guys is I'm going to play something here. Um, this is the announcement of Pastor Dooley. And I'm gonna I'm just gonna let you listen to this. It's only I'm only gonna play a little bit, so let's listen to this. Dear Church, we would like to advise you that Pastor Brian Houston has resigned as global senior pastor of Hillsong Church, and the board has accepted his resignation. We understand there will be much emotion at this news, and we all share these feelings. Irrespective of the circumstances around this, we can all agree that Brian and Bobby have served God faithfully over many decades and that their ministry has resulted in millions of people across the world being impacted by the power, grace and love of Jesus Christ. But has it? That's the question. Has this ministry helped um, and ministered the name of our precious Lord Jesus. I'm going to play something for you now, and we're going to see. The way you see God decides what you believe God does, what you believe God loves, and what you believe God blesses, where his favor will be. So I couldn't encourage any leader who wants to live purposefully and who wants to build a church that reflects the heart of God, I couldn't encourage you more to make sure that your view of the Master is through a New Covenant, New Testament lens, that we look at the Old Testament, which is so full of beauty and power and example and wonder, and is so much of the whole tenor of God's message that we need to look at it through the lens of the resurrection and the cross and back into it from where we stand now and not from where they stood then, because otherwise it's going to affect your ability to be purposeful and building and leading and bringing release and bringing freedom and seeing those things God puts in your heart come to pass. How do you view God in a desert? There's two types of birds. There's vultures and there's hummingbirds. One lives off dead carcasses, rotting meat. The other lives off the beautiful sweet nectar in a particular flower on a particular desert plant in the same desert they both find what they're looking for. Do you know, if you take it all the way back into the Old Testament and the Muslim and you, we actually serve the same God, Allah, to a Muslim, to us, Abba Father, God. And of course, through history, those views have changed greatly. But let's make sure that we view God through the eyes of Jesus, the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the beauty of a Savior, the loving, open, inclusive arms of a loving God. And that guys this is what they're saying this guy pastor dooley is saying that this heretic who teaches that allah and our god are the same god are um was a man of god the lord talks about in the scripture he talks about false christs and he talks about um false apostles and false teachers will arise and will deceive many um the main thing one of the main things is that we believe in the real jesus jesus of nazareth our jesus who died on the cross was buried rose on the third day and shed his precious blood for our sin Whereas Brian thinks it's the same God as Allah. And Allah, uh, Muhammad, he was a fa he's a false God. So I'm just going to play for, you know, just so you can hear the rest of this. Let's continue. Hillsong Church was birthed out of Brian and Bobby's obedience and commitment to the call of God. And we are extremely grateful for all that Brian and Bobby have given to build his house. We ask that you continue to pray for them and the entire Houston family during this challenging time. As you can appreciate, there is still much to be done and our church leadership continues to seek God for his wisdom as we set the course for the future. 
Okay, guys. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave the leave the link underneath for you guys to look at this. Um, and you know we we can rejoice, praise God, when the Lord exposes a false prophet that is affecting millions and millions and millions of souls not just one or two but millions as we as you guys all know it it is millions um so we rejoice in this day and we pray that that brian will repent and this will come to a point in his life where he will realize just how deeply his need is for the real christ not this um false christ that they teach at hillsong this um christ consciousness and um, that they teach this new age christ that they teach at hillsong so brethren this is all i have for you at the moment may the lord bless you may the lord keep you and may the lord let his light to shine upon you and i'll talk to you as soon as i can bye for now bye bye